welcome to the latest episode of Back at the Ranch. I'm your host, Danny Naub, and with me is our latest deserted explorer, Hannah, Coach Hannah. Coach Hannah, that's right. <laughs> How are you? Thank you for coming. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm still sad. Yeah. Like, I was really sad. Yesterday was a, a dark day. I cried during work. <laughs> Well, I think, you know, I'm actually glad that you're honest with that. I mean, I think a lot of people watch these games online and think like, we're crazy. <laughs> Cause they're all like, what are you doing? This is online. Like, how can you get invested? But this is the most realistic experience to so like a survivor game and yes. your emotions are in it. Yes, and they are. Spoiler, we'll get to it at the end, but you had a crazy crossroad. So it wasn't like it didn't really look like it was going to be you until people started pulling out bags of tricks and compasses and you know leaving leaving crossroads and all that so we have a yes. lot to discuss but thank you yes. so much. um but let's go back to the beginning so you are chosen to be on team ethan you all were surprised you didn't know that janet and ethan were going to be coaches this season so nope. just tell me about seeing them the surprise and then ethan actually picking you Okay, so um, I'm kind of a newer Survivor fan. It's been one of my pandemic hobbies. So my roommate and I started binge watching like hardcore. So we started in the middle of October. We watched 20 seasons in three and a half months. Oh my God, what's your favorite one that you watched? Um, we, I love Australia. Okay. We just finished last night, Hero vs. Villains like just last night. So I didn't know during the whole game who even won that. <laughs> but um, Ethan was one of our early favorites. And um, I just, I'm going to admit that he is so cute. I have the biggest crush on him. And so I saw him come on and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. So I got a little butterflies in my stomach and then he picked me. That is so fun. So yeah. obviously, um, you know, you don't really get a chance to get to know your party or sort of thrown into the first challenge. And I think it's pretty safe to say that the first two days were a little rough for Team Ethan. You yeah. lost back to back. So yeah. talk to me about those early votes. Um, specifically, let's start with Will. Why Why Will and who was leading that charge? Um, I think I was leading that charge a little bit. Okay. Um, the first two days, you don't really know how to play the game and people were asking me questions. And, uh, unfortunately I feel like I'm an honest person. So I was just like, yeah, I think this person should go. And so it wasn't until later that I like realized maybe I'm not supposed to be saying names. Um, so I had said Will's name and nothing against Will. I just got the vibe that he was going to be really good at the game but he was also going to be kind of annoying within our group dynamic. Like I wasn't sure that he would fit and you want like a strong team to at least win the challenges so you don't have to go to crossroads. For sure. So. That makes sense. So going into that second vote, cause this is actually kind of important to your story in particular. Yeah. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't, Will wasn't the only vote for um, game. There was a second vote, and who was it? Do you know? I do know who it was. Um, oh, you really don't know? No, I do. Oh, you do know? Okay. I mean, I think yeah. you can say it. I don't know when these are watched, but yeah. Um, I know now that it was Garrett, but I didn't know during the time. I uh, am actually friends with um, uh, Jess Martin, who won last season. Oh yeah, love Jess. Shout out to yes. Jess. So she was texting me like right after I got voted out and I was like, who was that vote? I need to know, I can't wait to watch. And like, I just don't have the patience for that. Yeah. Cause that was like my downfall and it's not even my fault. Yeah, well, I mean, so obviously you go back to your party, you're going into day two, were people chattering about who that mystery vote was and did did people actually say to your face that they thought it was you? Because from what I saw and watched, you were getting blamed for it. I mean. Yes. Yep. Um, after Will got voted out, the we immediately got back into our room and Chantel immediately was like, who voted for Gabe? And across the board, nobody wanted to admit it. And I don't know why they thought I did it. Maybe because I thought that I displayed obviously enough that I didn't trust Will and or want him around 
so that I didn't argue enough that I was definitely wasn't me. Yeah. And so suspicion got turned on to me that I was the rogue vote. Mm. Um, so then going into, well, I mean, that's, I guess, a point for Garrett. I mean, Garrett created this chaos that essentially was your downfall. So, yes. you know, I mean, that is part of playing the game. Obviously, it's frustrating when you're like, but I didn't do it. Like, I swear I didn't do it. Um, so going into day two, your party loses again. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous during this one? Obviously, Gabe is voted out, although he does come back. Um, oh, but again, we have you actually got votes this time. So mm -hmm. how are you feeling going into day two's crossroads? Um, I did not feel good. I did not feel confident. And I really didn't feel that it was valid, which bothered me more that this like group of boys under the age of 20 were gonna send me home because they thought they couldn't trust me. And that is just not, not okay. Like, what is up with these young stars? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. um, so when did you guys find out the twist that Gabe actually isn't leaving the game? And what is the feeling knowing that he comes back in? Um, we found out the next day after he was voted out. We knew he was going to battle against Will on the left the forbidden island i don't remember the name <laughs> uh island of the deserted deserted yes yeah. something like that <laughs> um so we knew he was gonna battle it out against will and we weren't sure what was gonna happen um but we didn't know what his coming back into the game would look like um some of us were thinking he would go to janet but gabe showed through and through that he was like loyal to team Ethan and he had the choice to go back to Ethan or go to Janet and he came back to Ethan and I was relieved because I felt like it was my fault that he got voted out just because I didn't want myself to get voted out and there was like nobody else on the chopping block. Yeah. Well what was your reasoning for Gabe because obviously Gabe got votes on day one so yeah. was it just not gelling with your party or? I again I think um, this was before I learned to keep names out of my mouth. Um, I did tell one person that I didn't like that Gabe argued against Docs during the game. Um, to me, that's just a red flag. Like that's not good sportsmanship. And um, like got around to enough people that Gabe was the other name. And I don't know if... Gabe's name was said first to the group or if my name come up, came up first to the group but at one point Gabe and I were in a room together and we were just like I know it's you you know it's me like let's just enjoy this 30 minutes because <laughs> one of us is going home and this is uncomfortable. Well and that's what's so crazy about this game is that it, it could be something as simple as you know you just rubbed me the wrong way for one thing it could be that we thought you had too much survivor knowledge I mean you know in a game that move so fast you mm -hmm. don't have a lot to go on and so no. sometimes you have to just point a finger and be like that guy <laughs> like, yeah. like look over there it's him um so you know luckily you all go into day three and get a little bit of a reprieve so <laughs> you're like sitting pretty like yeah your party goes to crossroads and then you guys are all surprised with a swap um and going into the swap it's looking good for you because you are in the majority of your new team, Janet. So mm -hmm. you have yourself, Gabe, Chantel, and Garrett, all of your original tribe. And then you're joined by Jared, Justin, and Jennifer. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you must have been feeling pretty good at that point. Yeah, I was relieved to say the least. <laughs> um, so obviously we have a double desertion, but I guess my question for you is knowing that some of your party, or original party members had voted for you, was there ever a part of you that thought, huh, maybe I should flip to the new people and try to, like, was that ever a thought in your head? Or like, what were you thinking in that right. sort of first day? Um, well, I actually talked to Justin and Jennifer on day zero. And there was like a group of six of us who were in a room and we were like, this is a great group. Like, let's be the loyal six, blah, blah, blah. 
and Justin, Jennifer, Chantel, Garrett, a little bit, Gabe, and Maddie were all in that group. Um, so when the team switched up, I was interested to see where Justin and Jennifer were still at, and they were still interested to see about that. Um, Chantal was team Ethan all the way, like she wasn't giving the group of six the time of day anymore. Um, but yeah, I toyed with the idea of flipping and for a little bit, I could have like maybe gone along with it. But also when we learned that the other group was going to be watching our tribal council, I also felt like I had to prove that I wasn't the person who voted Gabe out. And so I'm gonna stay loyal to team Ethan and just pick off the smaller groups, unfortunately. Um, so why Jennifer? And who sort of led the charge against her? Um, for a while, it was going to be Jared. Um, it's really switched super last second. And Justin was lucky he had immunity. I think people were gunning for him. Um, he had a very nice tribal council. Um, I'm pretty sure Chantel led that one because she is suspicious of anyone who says that they're loyal with one person. And so her head, I think, was in, let's break down some alliances. Okay. I mean, look, I mean, Jennifer, I think, was a good choice. I mean, obviously, I think she's a great person. But, um, you know, she was, I think, making some moves on the other party. So, you know, I think you guys definitely got out a, a contender, for sure. So I think that that was actually a smart move. Right. Um, so you obviously go back to your party. You don't see what the other party is doing at the crossroads. Um, we find out later that Jack is voted out. Um, then we get to <laughs> like apparently this challenge that you're really amazing at. So eight on a plate, which requires you to stand on probably like six feet away or something, throwing cards onto a plate and you like destroyed the competition. <laughs> like how did you get so good at that? <laughs> um, I did a horrible leading up to that point. Um, we were all practicing together like for an hour. I was like, guys, this isn't my game. I don't know well, like what's going on. This is just not working. Um, so magic, I don't know how that happened. And I think part of it too was when we were practicing, we had like on flip, just flip your card over and throw it. And so with this one, we just, we had to wait. So maybe that was yeah, the gold. I, I don't know if that was Thank God, I was so it relieved was, we won that. Look, if you've, if you've ever watched any of these Back at the Ranches or watched me in general, like I am obsessed with the power of female. Like I love women, like not not why, but like I love women. So like to watch you destroy these men, I was just like, yeah, like I was at home just like cheering you on and I'm like, get it. And just to remind everybody at home, um, Hannah scored three, um, others had scored two, but like, you know, you guys destroyed Team Ethan. Like Team Ethan was far, 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 far away from catching up. Yeah. Um, so obviously another night that you guys get to sit pretty-ish. Um, so I know that you're all at back at your party. I feel like the mod was telling me that you guys were all playing games and just like kumbaya, happy, happy, happy. And then suddenly you guys are visited by a new team member, Gideon. So mm -hmm. what are your thoughts when you're surprised that Gideon, who was voted out, is now a part of your team? I was not surprised that Gideon got voted out. Um, he was part of the smaller group that went over there and he is gonna be good at this game. Like he knows what he's doing. He knows how to work Discord and all the online games. Like he is gonna be a threat. So obviously they wanted to get rid of him. And I was 50-50 relieved that he came to our team, but also like nervous again that my head would go back on the chopping block. Cause I know that he wasn't convinced that I wasn't the rogue vote even though we had said to each other, like, let bygones be bygones, we're gonna move past this, like, no big deal. And I told him, like, I don't care that you put my name down, like, I'm not gonna worry about it because it's what happens in the moment, but it does, like, set the paranoia. So it's like, oh, someone who's against me is back. Yeah, because I think on paper, it looks like it would be a good thing for you because he's original team Ethan. So that just increased your numbers that much more, right. leaving Justin and Jared as sort of like the lone, too. Yeah. Um, so going into your final night, unfortunately, um, it was quite a challenge. It was puzzles um, and some brawn. Everyone was kind of going head to head to head. Um, 
your team, your party obviously loses, but the twist being that the other party will be joining you and they can either be exempt and not vote and just sit there, or they can risk it, vote, but they can be voted for. So it was a very convoluted, very convoluted. And again, reminding anyone who's watching, these people have an hour. <laughs> you had an hour between end of the game to when you're going to Crossroads. So it's not a lot of time to really figure things out. So talk to me about that hour, because were you feeling good? Like, were you feeling like you guys were gonna get out? Like, was yes. it, who were you going, you were going for Giddy? I had three votes. Yeah, and then, so who, you voted for Justin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so are you thinking like Justin's gone? Well, no, we were originally gonna vote for Jared. Well, that's oh. right. I forgot that Jared randomly. So you guys all go in with a plan. Your plan is we are voting Jared. Yep. And then you're talking and suddenly, you know, um, Doc says, anybody have anything else to say? Jared raises his hand. Not feeling very good, y'all. Peace. I'm out. <laughs> so Jared was gifted a um, shortcut, which is sort of like a safety without power, meaning he was able to leave, he wasn't able to cast a vote. Um, you know, and obviously, do you know who gave Jared that? No, I thought he found it himself. Tell me. It was Daniel. Okay, duh. So, um, yeah, so what happened was is that those clue rooms kept popping up, and so Daniel yeah. found um, found the clue and figured out the uh, the answer literally five minutes before Crossroads, like literally five minutes. But the twist was, is that he had to give it to somebody before Crossroads. So he mm. wasn't able to keep it himself. So yeah. he quickly jumped to a call with Jared and was like, Jared, I have three minutes before Crossroads starts. Like, I'm giving this to you, use it tonight. Like get out of there, flee. So he ends up being able to save himself. Um, which again, on paper, you would think shouldn't matter much because you can then flip it to Justin. Um, but then as the votes are being read, we find out that Garrett <laughs> played a compass for Gideon incorrectly. So, um, and then <laughs> just throwing it out there, Mr. You know, he stirred the pot that first day. Um, and then Keith played a compass for Justin. So once you see that Justin has a compass played for him, are you feeling like it's gonna be you or are you still thinking? I'm still thinking somebody else. Like I thought that I had like proven I'm gonna be loyal to whatever team. I'm obviously a good competitor. Like I'm not the super like jacked up threat yet. Um, and I also thought Justin and I were friends. Like I thought we had this little alignment going and I was like fully, Go, like ready to go to the end with like him Chantel and whoever else he wanted to bring so and like in other discussions in the new team Janet people wanted to get rid of him early and I was like I think he's gonna be good to keep around so then I felt like I vouched for him and like considered flipping and then he stabs me in the back well but technically you voted for him <laughs> okay I did want to vote for Ryan okay but um, I, in like that whole hour discussion that we had, I brought it up to one person that I thought we should vote for someone on the other team. Yeah. And I think it was Garrett. And Garrett is a very safe player. And he didn't want to ruffle any feathers or anything. And he was like, no, I think it's risky to play it. And then what if they have a compass and then one vote and someone goes home, which is exactly what happened. Um, yeah, I mean, so as the votes are being read out, um, Kyle received a vote, but it didn't matter because he didn't vote. So yep. that was dead one. Justin received four. Obviously, we know where those came from. And then you started popping up and then it was like, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Um, again, as a spectator, like we live for these kind of crossroads because it was just so in the moment. I was shocked that it was yeah. you, honestly, because I was jumping from room to room and I don't think I ever heard your name. So I still need to figure out why that switch happened. But are you aware of who voted for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it was Justin, Maddie and Ryan that voted for you. Um, 
I mean, what are your just what are your final like thoughts on that? Because obviously, I think you had a lot of game left in you. You were such a fun player to watch, and this was just. It's kind of like when I talked to Jack yesterday, the day before. It's like, yeah, I just feel for you guys because it's it's not like you did something wrong. It was just right. circumstance in this wild game where there's compasses and safeties and reboots that that's what makes this game difficult. So, I yep. mean, is there anything looking back that you feel like you could have done differently? The only thing that I was thinking is I wish because the night when so the last night I was still nervous about like the younger boys alliance so now there's two of them left still thinking that I'm like a disloyal person and so I let that overrule my thinking where I wanted to vote someone of the other team out and so that one person shut me down and said no we shouldn't do that and so I was like okay I'll go along with whatever everybody else wants to do. Cause I also didn't want to seem like I'm like a, the puppeteer of decisions that we were making. Cause that's how it had come off the first couple games. Yeah. And I didn't really love that position to be in. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'll back off. I'll do whatever you guys want to do. But I think if I had pushed a little bit and persuaded people that maybe Ryan is no longer trustworthy, that maybe we could have got three votes on him and then it would have been a revote. It is, I don't want to talk too much about it because this is really about you, but it's fascinating watching Ryan right now because Ryan is very much this middle guy that everyone's fighting for. <laughs> and everyone's like, he's on our side. He's on our side. And I'm like, I'm so- He doesn't know. Which <laughs> side he actually chooses. Yeah. Um, so with those who are remaining, who are you mm -hmm. rooting for? Um, definitely Chantel. She was my girl. She's the only one that I trusted. And I know she kept saying, don't tell people who you trust. But I wanted her to know um, we got along good. I also do love Gabe, even though I like led that crusade yeah. and Garrett, obviously. Um, and I'm gonna root for Justin because even though I think he's like a scheming kingpin, I think he has like a great chance of doing this if people are like gonna risk their compasses for him, so. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's still a lot of game left and uh, so I mean, much. Yeah, I mean, just seeing what these first few days were, I mean, I think this is going to be a very wild end to the season, which is, again, super exciting. Um, do you have any final thoughts or anything else you want to share with anybody or anything you want to say or get off your chest or? Um, you really can't trust anybody. <laughs> like, you really can't. Um, if you're like me and you can't keep your mouth shut, put yourself on mute. <laughs> The mute button is your friend, everybody at home. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you do it again if you were asked? I don't know. It was a very highly emotional investing game. Like not only, cause my friends were like, so what are the competitions like? What are the games are you playing? And I was like, the competition's only like 40 minutes of this. The rest is like a psychoanalyst of everyone you come across. Like that's the hard part. And then making sure that you're not coming off as like crazy and overbearing and like actually being a good teammate. So it's like a lot of, it's a mind game. It's a lot. I mean, it's definitely a lot, especially, um, you know, you get really invested and, and feelings get hurt and, you know, it's a fun game, but it's, it's a lot of effort. So I, I completely understand. I have a feeling like a week, you'll probably be like, I'm ready. <laughs> probably <laughs> um but otherwise Hannah I mean it was an absolute joy getting to watch you and thank you for you know just being part of this community and being a part of this game um welcome to the fun side I don't know if anyone's yeah. talking about it but there's this whole other side with like friends and games and just getting to know each other so I know this is definitely not the last that I will see of you not the last you'll see of me I look forward to getting to know you talking some more soccer yes and um otherwise I hope you have a fabulous night and thanks again for doing this with me Yes, thank you. Yeah. Bye, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.